What's up, guys? I'm bringing you uh, with the video with Togger Switch being installed for a Peterbilt 379. There's the mortars that we're putting for the power windows. There's the other side. I'm not going to details how to do that because there's videos out there. There's also videos and target switches. But I figure that to the unexperienced, at least, it's a target switch. I have two of them left and right. There's six prongs, three on each side. So I'm just bringing this video that way. Maybe I can give you a little more detail than how the connection goes. So first of all, if you look at the target switch, there's two on top, two in the middle, two at the bottom. The two in the middle, the two in the middle, you're gonna need one wire with the fuse on it. It could be a 25 amp fuse. At least that's the way mine came. It's just one single wire. And then you have another wire on the other side, which it doesn't matter if it goes left or right, however you uh, decide to wire it, as long as you have one single wire power and one single wire ground on either side, doesn't matter. And then you got two on, you have two on top, two at the bottom, which this is my left side. You can see I have a red and a green coming off my left side, which is the driver's side. Running through, through the door, coming into the panels, to the back, and then coming out to the top, as it for now. Which eventually I'm putting some switches like that. Not sure where I'm going to put it yet. Might be on this side. And then... I have two more wires coming out from there, which I'm using black and black and uh, green and red stripes coming in through there. Same as the other side coming in right here, which these are my wires. Red, green to the left, driver's side, black, and uh, what is it, blue, purple, red to the left side. These don't really matter what color you use. What matters is that you know that what two wires are coming from your left and what two wires are coming from your right. That's all that matters. It could be any color you want it to be. So, those wires come all the way down to a target switch. You would have to connect a jumper wire from your main window source. So, I have... Red and green coming from the from the window mortar. Coming back down. Which is red here. Then I put a jumper wire to jump to the right side, which is the bottom side. And then the green one, I did a jumper wire coming back to the other side, which is the right side. I hope that makes any sense. I don't even know that makes sense myself. So now, the center one, which I'm using brown as ground, is a single wire comes up here it's the brown one that I'm gonna use for ground which I'm gonna ground off uh, probably the chassis or the dashboard up in here somewhere which I can do a video further on on that one that one up once everything's is finished then on the target switch which is power this one, I have a, uh, a 25 amp fuse, 
and this one here is what's going to provide the 24 volts. Something that gets 24 volts, which I'm thinking about going right behind the ignition switch. So when I turn on the key, it'll provide 24 volts to this. Then I have my fuse on there. It comes down to my target switch. Okay. From this switch here, you can do it. Double it up, a jumper, if you want, from your main power. You have to do another jumper from your ground to go to the next switch. So, now if you follow this brown one, my jump is over here. This is still my ground, which comes up here. Okay. And then here's the 24 volts, which is the center. There's my jumper. Here's my main wire with my fuse. There's my jump up here, which goes to my other target switch, which is centered also. So that's how I get my power to my second switch. This is how I get my power or my ground to my second switch. And then you repeat the same process again you got these two at the bottom and you got these two at the top or it don't matter vice versa however you want to look at it and it's the same process i'm using the uh blue and red coming blue and red and the black one which is on the opposite side with my jumper wire Coming from my passenger side. And then all you do is put a jumper. Either you can do it here or, or how, how, like I've got the other ones further up, it doesn't matter. Put a jumper wire. I have a connector on the right side, main power coming in to the left side of the target switch. Then I have my other wire coming from my mortar. Connecting to this side, attach the jumper wire, go to the opposite side, which is this. So that's pretty much it. That's how it works. And I'll give it a little, little test run here. Let me see. second bear with me okay it's just alligator clips this is what I'm gonna do so I'm gonna find my main one of my main power source which is the center it's just powered that's the one that goes to my fuse single wire which is this one which this eventually will go to the ignition switch so what I'm going to do is, hold on, I'm going to connect my alligator clip to my fuse wire, it's my fuse, connect these two together, and 
then I'm gonna go to the battery with the other side of the alligator clip, which is the red one. Connect that positive. And then I'm gonna grab my other alligator clip, which is ground, which that's the one, my brown wire. At least I'm using brown, so it doesn't matter. You can use green, it don't matter. This is the one that's gonna go to the chassis somewhere. And the reason I know it works is because, so I have one of my alligators to ground, not the battery, just ground. Then I'll get my other alligator clip. That one's gonna be my ground wire eventually. Okay. Here's my switches. This for the left side, which is this. Show this again. So let's see. Back up. Okay. And this one is my passenger side. Oops, a little thing getting caught up over there. Hold on. There it is. That's it. That's how you do it. So now we can go ahead and disconnect the power from the battery. We don't need no more ground because like I said, uh, uh, like I said, my single wire Single wire. I'm gonna go to the Nixon switch on the back side. Oh yeah, bad boy. Go to the back side and connect to the one that doesn't have power, which is gonna be the one on top and then the one on the right as you look in the video. Cause the one at the left side, the white one, the very bottom to the left, that one's direct power. So it'll go to one of these two on, on top. So that's how I'm gonna get my 24 volts. When I click this on, I should be able to use these. But before that, it's my ground wire. This one's gonna go to a chassis somewhere. I'm thinking. I think I might go here since that's a ground. Wherever it goes to, is I really need probably to the frame. So I'll probably connect right there. See how that works. And if everything works perfectly, then we're good. Ready to roll. It's a very simple job to do, guys. Nothing, nothing hard. All you have to remember. It's a six, one, two, three, flip it, four, five, six. It really does not matter how you connect it. As long as it's right in the middle, one ground, single wire, and of course you're gonna need a jumper to go to the next switch. Center power wire, 
you're going to need a jumper to go to the next switch. And then get the two wires from your left side, whatever color you're using. Make a jumper. Just double. It's my jumper here. It's on this side. It'll connect on this other side. And then put your two with the jumper wire and one coming from the window. Make your jumper, jump it over to the other side. And that's it. And remember, power, it could be either side. Doesn't matter, it could be power here. Or you decide to put the power here, doesn't matter. As long as it has one power, one power centered, one power ground. Make a jumper here. If you choose to make it here, that's fine. Make it here. Jump it. One jumper from here to the other switch to the center ground. Same thing. Power. Make a jumper to the other side. So the other side center power, same thing as the ground. That's it. I hope I uh, explain it to the best of my ability. Um, you have any questions, comment below. I'll try to get to y'all. Then I'll make another video once um, I install the switches. Everything's already set. If, if everything works correctly, like I want to do it, put the fuse to the ignition switch on the back side. And my single ground wire to my chassis, which I might go there. I don't, I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to go there. And if everything works good, I'm going to make another video. So you can see the finished product and uh then of course i'm gonna tell you exactly how i'm gonna keep these in place on the next video and at the bottom so this won't be going back and forth very simple which i already have that done i'll, I'll, I'll put it on the other video all right guys be with you soon thanks for watching